Hello, this is Kenneth14621, and I've got a recipe here for you. This is called sausage and rice. Simple name, but uh, it's a little dish that I've been making, and I don't think it's that fattening. If I thought it was too fattening, I wouldn't put it on the, uh, you know, on a video. So here's what you do: chop up about two bell peppers, chop up about a half an onion, or maybe more onion. You know, when you get through, just, just go like this and just look at the consistency and see if that's what you want. We put it in a strainer and wash it all. And then you take about two lengths of sausage and you cut the sausage up. And you want to cut the sausage up into small pieces. Okay, because that's a thick piece of sausage right there. Okay, you cut them too thick and you won't, you know... You won't be able to get a good mix of rice and bell peppers and onions. And you can cut up mushrooms and put it in there too. Any type of vegetable you want to put in there, go ahead. And uh, So anyway, so you cut these, these up. Look how thin that is. Really thin. Okay. Sausage. And then you cook some white rice. Okay. And I like to cook mine in a, this is a pressure cooker right here, but they do have rice cookers. But if you cook the rice in there, it's a lot better. It, it makes it a lot better quality rice. Okay, and I'll have the rest of this uh, video in just a second. So there we have it. There's your sausage. And I would have showed you the bell peppers and onions, but, uh, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't, Think about that, but that's two lengths of sausage, just two lengths of Eckridge sausage, okay? And uh, we're going to put some tomatoes in it too, okay? And I'm going to show you how we're going to cook the tomatoes and, uh, and uh, bell peppers and stuff. And this is two and a half cups of rice right here. It's about nine servings, okay? So a lot of rice. Okay, now I've got two options for you here. One, you can take the bell peppers, onions, mushrooms, tomatoes, and everything. There's, there's not tomatoes in there right now because they cook faster. And you can cook them separate. You can cook the vegetables and then cook the sausage and dump the grease out, you know, to make it less fat. Or you can cook them together. We're going to cook them together this time. Okay, now we're going to dump the sausage in there. So we put olive oil and we put the uh, bell peppers and onions in there and we put the sausage in there. And we're just going to cook it in a big skillet. And we put salt and pepper in there. See? Salt. I don't think it was recording before. Salt and black pepper. Okay. Don't put too much salt. Just about, just enough to, you know, cover the inside of your hand. How many teaspoons did you say? About salt. two teaspoons? About a teaspoon. About a teaspoon and a half of salt. And then pepper, you know, put a little bit of pepper in there. And then we're just going to cook it. Okay, now the last thing we're going to put in there is the tomatoes because the tomatoes, you don't want to cook them too long because they'll get all soggy and stuff like that. Okay, so we're just going to throw those in right at the last second. We're going to put three tomatoes in there, all chopped up. Okay, now we turn the fire back on. We already cooked these. We, we chopped these up. You don't have to do it like that, but we just chopped them up a little late and then put the tomatoes in there. Last. Now, how long are we going to cook them? Cook them about three or four minutes, you know, just enough to heat them up, you know, because you don't want to overcook the tomatoes. Okay, otherwise they'll lose the flavor and they'll get all soggy, you know, so we're going to do that. Okay, now look, get a big, big pot, okay? Like we've got all the rice in the pot, it's a lot of rice, and that's been cooking three or four minutes. And then you just, you just scoop all this, uh, all this sausage and all the vegetables and everything, just scoop them in there, see? Now this, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and label this American food, okay? So you can have some friends over, you want to impress them with your American food. 
Tell them we're going to be having American food tonight. Then they're trapped. They're all over the house. They're going to think they're not going to like it. But when they have this, they'll like it. Get out the door. Okay. There you go.